12 of the largest Star Wars ships. Number 12, Providence Class Dreadnought, 1.1 kilometers. The Providence Class Dreadnought was a separatist capital ship with weapons powerful enough to pierce enemy deflector shields. The Dreadnoughts themselves had thermal shields that even the heaviest of fire would struggle to get through. Number 11, Interdictor Class Star Destroyer, 1.13 kilometers. Interdictors were Imperial Star Destroyers that were smaller than all other Star Destroyer models. However, they could make up for that size by their ability to pull ships out of hyperspace and prevent any ships around from entering hyperspace. Number 10. Venator Class Star Destroyer. 1.14 km. The Venator Class Star Destroyer was used by the Republic during the Clone Wars. It had many turbo lasers it used to take down Separatist cat capital ships. It was used mainly for troop and cargo transport. Number 8. Zeiston Class Star Destroyer. 2.4 km. Zeiston Class Star Destroyers were used by the Final Order and each of them had a laser on them powerful enough to destroy a planet. They appeared in the Rise of Skywalker movie on Exegol. Number 7. Resurgent Class Star Destroyer. 2.91 km. Resurgent class Star Destroyers were First Order capital ships that had over 1,500 ion cannons and turbo lasers. They had a tractor beam located at the bow. Number 6. Trade Federation Battleships. 3.17 km diameter. Trade Federation Battleships were battle stations used by the Separatists. They had turbo lasers equipped on them and were used mainly for blockades such as on the boot and Ryloth during the Clone Wars. Number 5. Executor, 19 kilometers. The Executor was an Imperial Star Destroyer that was Darth Vader's flagship. Despite its enormous size, it was shot in a weak spot and plummeted down towards the Death Star 2 and exploded in Return of the Jedi. Number 4. Supremacy, 60 kilometers wide. The Supremacy is the largest spacecraft on this list and was Supreme Leader Snoke's flagship. It was the largest spaceship in Star Wars but was destroyed in The Last Jedi. Number 3. Death Star 1. 120 km wide. Death Star 1 was planned to be built by the Separatists during the Clone Wars, but by the time Order 66 came around, the Empire ended up beginning construction of the planet-killing space station. Equipped with a laser that was powerful enough to de destroy cities and even a planet with one blast from its super laser. It was destroyed by Luke Skywalker in A New Hope. Number 2. Death Star 2, 160 kilometers wide. Death Star 2 was the Emperor's trap that he was planning on using to destroy the last of the Rebellion. However, Ewoks, yes, the cute little teddy bear, saved the Rebellion and helped destroy the Empire along with its Death Star. Number 1, Starkiller Base, 660 kilometers wide. Starkiller Base was built on a planet that was sacred to the Jedi Ilum. Ilum was a planet the Jedi went to find their kyber crystal to make their lightsaber. The First Order used the planet's richness in kyber crystals to make a planet-killing space station much larger than the Death Star. It was able to destroy an entire star system. Thanks for watching and please share the video if you enjoyed.